about 20 years ago is diagnosed with a, a disease called ankylosing spondylitis. That's rheumatoid arthritis of the spine. Uh, my rheumatoid arthritis is basically impacted in my hands. But biologics are drugs that we use for moderate to severe rheumatoid arthritis, psoriatic arthritis, and all of the inflammatory conditions that I mentioned before. They're used when the traditional anti-rheumatic uh, agents such as methotrexate and the anti-inflammatory agents fail. Biologics typically very selectively affect parts of the immune system that contribute to inflammation. The commonest ones that we use are targeted against the tumor necrosis factor, a protein that's critical to joint inflammation. From the first, my first infusion of Remicade, it has just been phenomenal. The results, literally, overnight, uh, had no pain, stiffness went away. There's a lot of stiffness associated with uh, my disease, ankylosing spondylitis. And within one day, I was literally pain-free. I could do things I haven't been able to do in years. I could with the Embrel and the methotrexate, I'm able to function basically like a normal person. I can exercise. I can go to work. Um, I don't have the swelling or the discomfort that I used to have. The soluble tumor necrosis factor or TNF receptor inhibitors such as Embrel will actually go and bind the tumor necrosis factor before it can get to the site of attachment where the inflammation occurs. Then there are others that are monoclonal antibodies such as Remicade and Humira which can recognize and attach to the tumor necrosis factor in the circulation. So either way, they are preventing that attachment of the tumor necrosis factor to the site of these immune cells where inflammation actually occurs, thereby preventing inflammation and preventing joint damage. Not everything about these biologics is as wonderful. Of course, it does great things for patients, but there are side effects, including infections, which is the biggest concern. Um, because we're suppressing the immune system, so your immune system is not there to fight infections. We just have to get to that critical level where we can suppress it enough to not cause inflammation, but also not wipe it out completely where you can't fight infections. I'm doing great on the medicines that, you know, I'm currently on, so I feel good. Um, I think in the next two or three years, we should be seeing a lot of newer drugs, which can turn the lives of many more arthritis patients around. So it's a really exciting era in rheumatology. The results have even been better than what she forecast originally. And she's been there every step of the way. And uh, uh, I, I owe it all to Dr. Bargabon.